Hey everyone, welcome back to another heavy metal diecast video and another one of our 170 second scale uh, diecast armor reviews. And today, as you can see, uh, we've got ourselves a Churchill. Uh, most of you will know what a Churchill is, and uh, well, what it is is a uh, infantry tank made by the British during World War II. Uh, it was built between 1941 to 1945, with around uh, 5,640 built in all variants, or as the British would say, marks. Uh, our model is a Mark III, which around uh, 675 were produced in uh, 1942, I think, and uh, made before the switch over to the uh, Mark IV, which would come after this, obviously. Now, uh, this is one from the, the 48th Royal Tank Regiment Sprinter IV. Uh, well, that is a little bit of an oxymoron sprinter. These weren't exactly the fastest tanks out there. We will uh, get this out. Check out that. That does look pretty cool. It does come in uh, the normal uh, base with an acrylic clear cover, which is absolutely awesome for keeping that dust off it. But it does keep our vision away from it, so we will uh, take that lid off, of course, and uh, check out this awesome-looking Churchill uh, properly. Uh, it is held on by a couple of little screws. They look like normal screws from what I can see, um, so we can take it off the base if you want to. Now, uh, this overall build does look absolutely fantastic. The quality, as per usual, Dragon, boy, they do make some great models, don't they? Uh, the the shading and the highlighting, look at the engine deck. It's got some uh, stowage on there, which looks absolutely killer. That is great. Wow, that has got some absolutely fantastic detail. Sprinter 4. Yeah. Well, I wonder what happened to the other three. <laughs> so... This does look fantastic though. Boy, check out that detail. The old six pounder on there does it. it geez, it's pointed down. Well, it is an infantry tank, but uh, it is pointed down, does it? No, it doesn't want to doesn't want to elevate, but um, well, the turret does look like it does. Yep, it does move around. So if you like to move your turrets around, you can move that turret around if you feel like it. Uh, but overall, I reckon the quality on this is another great uh, you know, standard, of course, by Dragon. They um, have such a high build quality for their models. I mean, they can be a little bit uh, dear every now and then, but it is worth it, you know, if you want to get a quality product like this. Yep, definitely really cool. All right, well, we'll wind this video up. We'll plonk this on the deck as per usual. Now, you would have seen the photos of this at the start. Feel free to check this out on the turntable at the end. And you can see this without my uh, sausage fingers. Speaking of fingers, sausage finger test it is a reasonable size tank. These were um, pretty, you know, decent in size. Now, of course, if you enjoy what I showed you today, don't forget to give us one of those somewhere down there. Don't forget to do that if you possibly can. And always feel free to subscribe to the channel if you do enjoy our videos and have yet to do that. All right, and with that, I will uh, finish off the video by saying thank you so much for spending your valuable time in checking out another one of our diecast reviews. I hope you enjoyed this Churchill that we showed you today. All right, everyone, you all have a fantastic rest of your day. Cheers, everyone.